Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. In today's video, we are doing something I never thought I would see, and that is we are testing snail slime as a skincare ingredient and as a preparation to be applied to the face. Specifically, we're gonna be doing a single product review on the COSRX Snail Mucin 96 Power Essence. It's a whole lot of words for what is in effect a 96% uh, product which contains 96% snail slime. In our single product review series, we take one product usually available at the drugstore and we tear it apart. We look at the ingredients, we look at the claims, we look at the results and the textures, and we talk about the pros, the cons, the good and the bad, and ultimately, whether there's a place for it in your skincare routine. Today is going to be no different. However, this product comes with a cult following. You guys have been begging me to review this product amongst some other fantastic products which come out of Korea. And so I bought it, I got my hands on it. I paid £22 from Look Fantastic, which is a website here in the UK. If you want to buy it in the US, it's around $19, so a little bit cheaper in the US. Um, I guess it's the import cost of um, importing it all the way from um, South Korea, which adds up to the cost here in the UK. But still, £22, not a bad price for a serum slash essence, and you do get a lot of product for your money. Snail mucin, mucin, depends where you come from as to how you pronounce it, has been used for years. Right the way back from the Egyptians used to apply snails to their face for their hydrating qualities and properties and it's really just become like the, the wow ingredient of the last two years. It claims to be able to hydrate the skin, it claims to be able to rebuild and um, promote the production of collagen within the skin, help with fine lines, anti-age, um, prevent inflammation in the skin. People even claim it can tackle dark spots, redness and support with um, the barrier function of the skin. There are a lot of claims that go into one product. Um, this particular product we're testing is 96% snail slime. So you know in this product that you are getting a powerhouse of um, an ingredient when it's that high up on the ingredient list and in that higher percentage, you know that you re whatever benefits do exist, you're gonna be able to reap them from this particular product. Um, I was really excited to try this. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna start with the pros of the product and um, then we'll do the cons and we'll get onto whether I think it's a product you want to invest in. First pro for me is that concentration of snail slime. Now, if you can get over the fact it is say, snail slime, 96% of an ingredient, that is amazing. Most people buy a product with an active ingredient and it comes nowhere close to that concentration. So this is delivering exactly what it says. It's not one of these gimmicks that just puts a little hint of the mucin in to be able to um, add it to the bottle and charge a little bit extra. This is 96% um, snail slime. So that is absolutely fantastic. And it means that whatever results you feel like you're gonna get from this product, uh, this ingredient, you will definitely get from this product. So I love that. I also love the fact there's only 10 ingredients in total in this product. There's no fragrance and there's no colorant. So if you are someone with sensitive skin, this is absolutely safe for you to use. There's none of the nasties, which we sometimes associate with increased sensitivity, which is absolutely brilliant. Does it mean that you don't need to patch test before you use it? You should do that with any product, irrespective of um, the ingredients, just to make sure that you're not allergic to it or have a sensitivity to it. But once you patch test, you'll be absolutely fine if you have sensitive skin to use this product. So I, I love that. I think it's fantastic. The fact it comes from South Korea, to me, is a mark of quality. So it's the South Korea skincare testing regime is like, otherworldly. Their manufacturing standards and the robustness of their testing is absolutely fantastic and really should be the gold standard for skincare across the world. I love, love South Korean skincare. Um, from their sheet masks right the way through to their essences and their creams, you know when you're buying South Korean, you're getting properly formulated, robustly tested and quality ingredients within that product. And that's absolutely fantastic. COSRX, I love, love, love as a brand. So you know you're getting the quality. Um, in terms of the results, I'm also going to give it a huge pro because it did deliver its primary objective, which was hydration. This was so hydrating and nourishing. You would not believe. I put it on my skin and honestly, within about two minutes, it just felt like I'd been thrown a bucket of water all over me. It was that hydrating, which is fantastic if you suffer from dry, sensitive skin. This could be a really good product for you to use to get that hydration, that moisture back in your skin. Snail mucin works in a way similar to hyaluronic acid, which is also an ingredient within this product so you're getting like a double whammy to um, 
retain water, trap water, draw water in, and also create that film to prevent that transepidermal water loss. So it's got, it really just achieves on about four or five different levels. So I absolutely love that, particularly for the price point that you're paying. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. Now onto the cons. I don't like to be shady on a product which a lot of people have recommended that I try. Um, a lot of subscribers have said this is a fantastic product and snail mucin is something that we should all have in our lives and you really sold the benefits. So I was super excited to try this. However, it does come with quite a few cons and I'm going to start with the main one, the texture. Now, psychologically, I cannot and will not get over the fact that you are rubbing snail slime on your face. It might be pasteurized, it might be filtered, but it is grim and I mean grim and you the texture I actually gave it away to a friend I used it like three times so I could see the results and gave it to a friend who has much drier skin she loves it she is like full-on convert mind you she just likes free skincare to be honest but she did also say how hydrating it was and she didn't mind the texture for me the Barrett that the, it was just like slime and gunge and it felt like you were stroking a snail it's a firm no it really was off-putting and I put it in my face and it did actually make me feel gang out. I am quite dramatic. So, you know, if you are less dramatic than me, you might be fine. But I feel the texture is exactly what you expect it to be. And it is just a bit on the grim side, if I'm honest. Um, another con for me is it does have a very odd smell. Now, most people say it's positive because it's not fragrance, so they've not tried to disguise the smell and added something which could create sensitivity. So props to COSRX for doing that. However, the smell is just a little off-putting and again, doesn't make for a very pleasurable experience when you're using it. Um, I'd say a, another con for me is the implications of the an for the animal at the end of this. Now, I did a whole, I contacted COSRX to ask them about their harvesting process because obviously this 96% snail mucin harvested from snails. Um, they assured me, as with a number of Korean companies, these are harvested without harm to the snail. Now, some people might say it's a snail. Does it really matter? You know, it's not a cat or a dog. It depends on your personal standpoint. I think all human, um, all animal life has the same value. Um, and I was a little bit uncomfortable using this. However, they did put my mind at rest to say actually no snails are harmed in the harvesting process. It's done over a very fine mesh um, for about 30 minutes in the dark where they crawl over it. The um, mucus is harvested and then the snails again put out to pasture before the process, the harvesting process happens again. So... It's certainly not vegan. It's certainly not for people that want a vegetarian vegan lifestyle. However, I do think they've been able to allay some of their animal cruelty fears for me. And so I have less of an issue with that now. I'm raising it as a con because I do think if you want to use a product which isn't COSRX, you're going to have to be very careful with how the mucus, the mucin is harvested, if that makes sense. COSRX, I think have justified their process and I'm quite happy with it, but that's not the same and universal for all, um, all companies. So just make sure and do your research if that is of a concern to you. Um, another con for me is just the outrageous claims that come with this product. Um, not all from the company, but online. If you read online, people saying it's going to help with hyperpigmentation, it's going to help with aging, it's going to stimulate collagen, it's going to... Realistically, if you look at the scientific studies which sit behind this, and they are few and far between because this is quite a new ingredient in terms of its mass appeal, um, very few of the studies have been peer-reviewed and done in a double-blind test. So you do have to take them with a pinch of salt. But the studies have definitely proven its hydrating benefits. They've said the hydration is similar to hyaluronic acid, and I would totally agree. It is a moisture surge and sensation, so I definitely, definitely agree with that. In terms of the stimulation and production of collagen, that's less well tested. There are some studies which show because the skin is more moisturized and supported, that will, and there are protein bonds in there, will trigger the body to um, create more collagen. I think there is some science behind that, and I could get behind that. Collagen is what gives the skin that youthful, dewy, elastic, snaps back into shape if you stretch it out appearance and what the lack of often ages us so for, I, I do buy into that and I think it will have a marginal impact on the levels of collagen in your skin which is a good thing in terms of hyperpigmentation zero there is no proof that I could see anywhere online or from any reputable source that it will have any impact on hyperpigmentation whatsoever and I'm not surprised at the end of the day there is no reason that it should so this is just another example of some of these bold claims that are out there and that could lead to people being disappointed when they try this product and they don't get the results they expect
Um, there's also some things that says anti-aging. Again, if your skin is more hydrated, it looks more plump, it looks dewier, and therefore it will look more youthful. But I think in the long term, most of the impacts of it are very short term. Hyaluronic acid gives you that moisture boost like that. This is the same thing. This isn't going to give you a long term effect. This is very much a daily fix. And that's why you would have to use it daily on a morning as part of your skincare routine to continue to see those benefits. I just think we should all bear that in mind. Overall, what do I think? Well, I think I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10. The reason I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10 is I cannot use this product. There is honestly no way I could get on board with this product. The texture is just, there's something in my mind that blocks, I just, I can't enjoy the texture. In fact, just as a side note, that evening I was eating chicken chow mein and I couldn't finish it because it reminded me of snails and the slime and it carried with me all day. I am a total drama queen, unashamed, total drama queen. So if you're less dramatic than me, I think you will be able to cope with it and it's not too bad. But it's definitely something, if you can get your hands on a free sample or try it before you fork out, I'd recommend that just to make sure that you're comfortable with the texture before you buy. That I'm knocking points off of that. I'm also knocking points off for the fact that I do think there's an animal, not an animal cruelty, but certainly an animal exploitation element in there which doesn't sit comfortably with every consumer and is something that you may have to take into account before you purchase it. But other than that, I think this product is suitable for all skin types and it's very rare that you find a product that is suitable for all skin types. There's no fragrance and there's no colour in there, so that's going to be fantastic for um, people with sensitive skin. There's nothing in there which is going to cause uh, be comedogenic, so it's great for people with oily skin. In fact, this level of hydration can help because it might help suppress some of the oil production in the skin if the skin is naturally hydrated, when, um, which is great. So um, I think it's suitable for all skin types. Do I think you need this in your skincare routine? No. I absolutely think you could get the same results with a really good hyaluronic acid, such as the one from the Inky List. But it's undeniable that the levels of hydration and moisture that you get from this product are absolutely fantastic and I'm not going to take that away from them whatsoever. I would definitely caution that you try before you buy to make sure you're happy with the texture and dispel some of those myths that are out there. No, it's not going to help you with the hyperpigmentation. No, it's not going to have a meaningful long-term impact on the anti-aging of the skin, um, but it is going to be a nice daily fix to boost that moisture, give you that plump, plump, dewy skin that we all want, create a film and hopefully suppress some of that trans epidermal water loss. So Good product, but just make sure you sample it before you buy it. I hope you enjoyed this. I never in a million years thought I would be talking about snail snot on this channel. But here we are. This is the world that we, the skincare world that we live in. I'd love to know, have you tried this product? Are you going to try this product? Let me know your thoughts because I'm super intrigued about why people purchase this product and how they get over the ba psychological barrier of the texture of this product. Leave me a comment below, I'd love to know. Um, any other co products that you want me to try? I tried this because you guys were shouting for it and desperately wanted it, so I tried it. Leave me a comment below, let me know what products you want me to try next. Hopefully you give this video a thumbs up, um, it really helps the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Wherever you are in the world, guys, from Korea to the UK or anywhere in between, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.